Hey guys, we got another video today. We're checking out another encryption method. Today this is the Visionaire cipher. So this is related to the Caesar cipher we checked out in the last video. Um, it's pretty much a combination of Caesar ciphers based on a keyword. So we'll check this out in a second in Python. But right here we have a plain text, attack at dawn, a keyword, and the keyword should be as long as the plain text. And then here's the cipher text. So it's going to encrypt each letter one by one, and it'll shift each letter based on the letter it matches up with in the key. So let's check this out in Python. It'll make a little bit more sense. We can pretty much copy our Caesar cipher. So we'll copy that. Heads up, if you didn't watch the last video on the Caesar ciphers, this code only works for uppercase plain text. So if you're working with lowercase letters, you probably will not see the correct cipher text. Just keep that in mind. It's because of the Unicode and the uppercase letters actually have a different ASCII code number than the lowercase letters. And then we're going to edit this so that it works uh, with a keyword instead of a single shift. So we'll change this to keyword instead of S just to make it clear. So we have our keyword that we're passing in and we have our cipher text. Up in our encrypt, we will have a, instead of S, we will have a keyword. And then right here, we're gonna have a key char. We're gonna make sure the keyword is as long as the plain text. And then we can index the keyword using the same index as the plain text since we know they're going to be the same length. And what we're going to need to do with this is actually get the Unicode. So we'll use ORD. And then we'll minus 65. So now we have our number. And instead of S, we're going to shift by the key char. So now we have our plain text we're taking in a keyword and we're going to index through the keyword at the same time we're indexing through the plain text. For each letter, we're going to shift the plain text by the uh, letter in the keyword. So let's see how this works with a simple ABC and a keyword of AAA. So this is going to shift. Um, a has a shift of zero. So these are going to all be shifted zero. It should print out ABC here. So let's see if we did this correctly. Python main. Okay, there we go. Plain text ABC, cipher text ABC. A's have a shift of zero. So if we tried all B's, everything would get shifted over one. So let's try. So now instead of ABC, we have BCD. If we had three C's, it'd get shifted over by three. So now we have C, D, E. And then if we had A, B, C, so the first letter is going to get shifted 0, so it'll stay A. The second letter will get shifted 1, so it'll go to C. The third letter will get shifted twice, so it should go to E. So let's see if that works as predicted. So there we go. We got A stays as A. B moves up 1 to C because B has a value of 2. And then C moves up to E because C has a value of 2. So A has a value of 0, B has a value of 1, and then C has a value of 2. Sorry if I misspoke there. Um, that's why if we have keyword of AAA, it'll just leave our plain text unchanged because A has a shift of 0. If we have BBB, we're having a shift of 1, so it'll change it to B, C, D, and so on. And then if we have C, Z, Z, this will be the maximum shift we can do. So if we run that, we can see the alphabet's wrapping around. So now we have Z, A, B. So this is basically just taking the Caesar cipher, and then we are having a different shift for each letter of the plain text. So it's kind of like having its own Caesar shift for each letter. And um, keyword usually matches the same length as the plain text. If for some reason you had a, a keyword that didn't match the length, you could just wrap around the keyword. I'm not going to go over how to implement that in Python right now, um, but this was just the basic idea of the Visioneer cipher.